Welcome back garden lovers. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, watering your seed trays, keeping your seed trays properly moist. So um, let's get started. We're going to talk first about what happens to potting mix that dries out too much. This potting mix has been in an open bag all winter long, left over from last year. It's dried out. I mean really dried out. So when potting mix gets that wet, um, something happens. It becomes hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. That means it doesn't really like water anymore. So we'll spray some water on this thing. Look at that. Wants to pool up on top of the water. Kind of soaks through really fast. Doesn't really doesn't really get very wet. Now we scrape this off the top. I don't know if you can tell, but the soil underneath, the potting mix underneath, is bone dry still. The water pooled on top a little bit, and then it runs down the edges and out the bottom. So if your potting mix gets super dry like that, you need to water it several times. Water it. Let it sit. Let it soak. Water. Let it soak. An easier way, dump it all in a big thing like this. Dump a bunch of water on it. Water, water, water. Then mix it in. Mix, 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 mix. And then you'll have some nice moist uh, potting mix. Now, when you're starting seeds, uh, there's, a, there's a trick. The trick is to get your soil wet enough, but not too wet. Um, you can drown your seeds if, you're, if your mix is too wet. So how wet is wet enough? Well, this... That is not wet enough. Um, let's look at this guy. Did he get wet enough? Nope, look at that. Still loose and crumbly. Even all that water I sprayed on it. Hydrophilic. No, hydrophobic. Um, top little bit of layer got wet. Underneath did not. So that's why you want to put it in here and mix it around. That really accelerates it. Now, once it's nice and wet, that's called hydro philic means it's water loving so that's about how you want your potting mix when you're starting so starting seeds um, you don't want it sopping wet and you don't want it dry so you can if I mix this in mix that little blob in with this other stuff now too dry that's too dry so let's fill up a tray This soil still has some water content in it. It's not hydrophobic. It should absorb the, absorb the water fairly well. All right. Yep, see that? Real nice, kind of soaks it in. Can't create a bubble of water on top. Sprayed it a fair amount. It's not immediately dripping out of the bottom. That soil is absorbing, that potting mix is absorbing the water nicely. Now, what happens if you put too much water in? Your, your potting mix is real soggy, and that creates a great environment for fungus and bacteria to multiply and destroy your seeds. Yes, seeds and plants get sick like humans do, and ultra wet, very wet conditions make that worse. So don't overwater your seeds. And it's kind of a kind of a experience thing. Okay, so there we go. That did pretty good. See it soaked in pretty deep. Unlike that real dry potting mix where it just ran down the sides and I, I dug in it and it was still crumbly and dry. It still is crumbly and dry down there. So if your potting mix is super dry, beware. Be aware. You gotta fix that. Or you won't get good results. Alright, so that was pretty good. This potting mix, let's dig it out. Nice and wet. It's not it's not you you know you don't see any water soaking out of it and running down my hand. That's good sort that's good starting mix. Now you can plant your seeds on that, sow your seeds on it, and uh, and put it in a seed tray 
in a flat and then put a humidome on top of it. Humidome is important. It keeps the humidity up, really helps your seeds get started. I'll show you that over here. All right, here we go. We've got three trays here, seeds in them. Ooh, too close. See that? With some potting mix in there. Lots of humidity. It's great. Get your seeds started. Help them germinate. There you go. Oh, let's see. Maybe back there you can see I got some basil that's already coming up. Now, once your plants come up, don't leave them in here very long. You need to get them out from underneath the humidome. Uh, humidome blocks enough light and keeps the lights far enough away from your plants that your plants will bolt and die. So those basil back there, I will take them out tomorrow. Transfer them to a different tray. This one's nice and moist. Okay, that's all for today.